make your move, cowboy. I got the horses in the back, or stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the bushes black to match. Riding on a horse, ha, you can whip your Porsche. I've been in the valley, you ain't been up off that porch now. Nah, can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me Down cross town, living like a rock star, living like a rock star, living like a rock star, living like a rock star. Hey guys, what's going on? Today is June 11th, 2020. We're going to show you how to turn $3,300 into 25K plus in a matter of a few trades here. So, first trade we're going to take, as you can see right now, it's 10 26 a.m. First trade we're going to take is Tesla puts 950 currently Tesla trades about a thousand nine dollars order partially filled oh order damn filled. it dollar fifty okay that's not a really good feel I'm trying to buy a dollar fifty three it's running away okay just buy one more order filled dollar sixty order filled all right so so far guys uh, bought 21 Tesla contracts on the put side uh, the position is making uh, $441 in the last two minutes. Um, so we're going to set a limit order to sell these at about uh, 13 bucks, And that's going to be trade one. So buying them average price for like $1.50 and selling them for 13 bucks, About 1,200 percent is what we're targeting here. Filled. What the Waterfield. fuck is that? All right, goofy mistake, and just by an accident, I uh, actually sold some. Sold 13 instead of setting a limit order at 13. All right, well, let's buy them back. All right, so overall, um, got 23 contracts now. Tesla puts, 950 strike. Currently, as you can see, trades at uh, $1,008. All right, we'll do a quick follow-up with this trade shortly. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, back, keeping track of this Tesla trade, guys. Uh, 3.56 p.m., the market's fixed to close in about three and a half minutes. Uh, a lot of times, you are going to be faced with a decision. Should you keep the options? Should you sell them? What should you do? And understanding the market move sequence is very crucial. Being able to calculate it, whether the further drop is going to continue. As you can see so far, we've taken this account from 3300 bucks to 13,000 so this is the market value if I was to sell this position right now so basically uh, about 9 10k uh, positive for the day now a lot of guys in this instance they would just take the chips off the table but that's how okay you will miss out on some of the biggest opportunities so there's time to be greedy and uh, you know and there's time not to be greedy and it comes down to the market move sequence so clearly in this particular case it would not make sense to liquidate the position since we've gotten into Tesla it dropped about 40 bucks let me just show you exactly how this looks on the charts so basically when we're buying Tesla when we we're shorting it earlier it was trading above a thousand now it's down to 974 so we're holding 950 strike puts and in this case considering the VIX circumstances considering everything else it makes sense to keep this because it's likely to gap down so there's a high probability that this trade right here will end up uh, making more at the open which could coincide with a great exit and re-entry when it actually bounces so guys um, again very crucial to understand how to calculate these market moves this killer sequence we've pointed out in the daily analysis video, guys. It's 1193. It spells trouble for the market. Understanding that is how you nail quick and easy trades like this. And in this particular case, this is just the beginning. It's nine grand, 9689 bucks, guys. Um, so 285% for the day. I mean, this is just the beginning, okay? Actually, 300. 41 percent so 95 9800 uh, basically instead of locking this 19k game we're going to hold the position overnight because of the certain sequence that we are observing in the markets 
So with that said, we'll do a follow-up tomorrow, guys. As you can see, we just jumped over the 10K mark as we were holding this position. Anyways, guys, we'll do a follow-up tomorrow. Let's roll. So the count is officially now at uh, 13,800, uh, making 10,260 10, on this trade. Let's wait till the ring bell. Should come here shortly. All right, and there it is, 4 p.m. We're done. The count actually so finished at the highest of the day. So 10.7 for the day puts uh, puts us uh, easily at uh, at the 13, 14k. So we're not far from uh, at this point. We're not far from hitting the 25k mark, guys. I'll see you on the follow up of this trade tomorrow, June the 12th. Let's roll. Let's rock. All right, guys, so the position we kept on Tesla overnight is making us uh, just a little bit more this morning. The stock is down, but the option took a slight depreciation. Nonetheless, we got the sequence of the move correctly, and uh, we hold on to this a little bit longer. It's going to show probably another $10,000 in gains here. So what we are going to do is set a sell order right here. Uh, those 23 contracts we were buying yesterday at about 11 bucks. We should be able to get 11 on these. I'll put us at about 25k in the account. Yeah, and I'll put us exactly 25.3 in the account, so we wouldn't have to worry about the day trade. So um, this uh, interactive brokers, guys, it only shows you like the gains and losses for the day. So as of yesterday, you saw the gains were like 10,000, a little over 10k. Plus, on top of that, now we got another 1,200 bucks. So as you can see, the account is over uh, 14k at this point. Yesterday's was in uh, 13 and some change. So we're going to babysit this uh, Tesla trade for just a little while longer, trying to cash out 11 bucks. We're buying these contracts yesterday is uh, $1.52. Uh, once that trade is uh, closed out, uh, we're going to move on to some other trades. So right now it's 10.29 a.m. on uh, Friday, June the 12th. Let's roll. We'll do a follow-up shortly. Cow, we just sold Tesla. Damn it. So the account is at 25375 here on the Tesla trade, guys. Uh, we just locked out of that yesterday. We're buying these for dollar fifty-two. Just sold them for eleven bucks, and we are gonna get in on this uh, AMZN trade. So let's go, 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 go. Amazon. Let's pull up the option chain and get in right here on the Amazon. Let's roll. Move two coming in quick. All right, let's go ahead and buy on this one. I'm gonna buy a different strike on Amazon. Uh, let's go with the. Uh, 2550s. Okay, I just want to buy them at market. Buy. Uh, should be able to buy maybe 40 at market. Let's just buy them. Okay, so the price has gone up that much. Order partially filled. Damn it. Order filled. I bought 36 at 6.9. That's not good. That is too much, paid too much for these. All right, so, damn it, horrible entry here on Amazon. Minus 5,900 bucks, so now I'm going to have to sit on these till freaking the end of the day, probably. All right, put an order to buy one more Amazon with the 500 we had remaining. So, now, these are, I like the strike on these. These are pretty good. So, we should be fine by the end of the day. We should be up maybe 20, 30K on this position, so... Basically targeting to finish the debt, maybe uh, 60k around there. So let's see if we can get this done. Move two, baby, let's go. All right, guys, so I was able to buy one more Amazon. So total position now is 37 contracts. I'm still losing 6,200 bucks on this position as of right now, but looking for a strong finish towards the second half of the day. Setting the limit order to sell these at 25 bucks. Uh, not a huge deal. Uh, it's only going to be about three times the money. Um, right now it's 10.46 a.m., so by 4 p.m. Uh, we should be in a huge positive here, finishing around uh, 60, maybe 70K. Uh, so cashing these out at uh, 25 bucks, guys, so 37 times 25. Uh, there it is. Uh, the limit order is set and waiting. It's a good thing I had a order on uh, Tesla because it started bouncing as soon as I cashed out at 11. So um, at this point, I think Amazon is just going to be a better trade. I did have a horrible entry at 6.85. Paid too much for these guys. 
I'd rather own this position than not own it. So at this point, chasing it back and forth, jumping in and out is not a good strategy. Um, we're basically calculating move to, to continue through the rest of the day. And that's what gives us the confidence to know that by the end of the day, we're going to be highly profitable here. If you don't know how to calculate move to and how to trade it, guys, it's super important. It's sort of your roadmap for intraday trading uh, for active day traders. So click the link below, get more information on how you can become a better trader utilizing 13 market moves formula. Let's go. We'll review this trade shortly. All right, guys. So back to the Amazon trade after having this horrible entry, uh, losing six grand right after I got into it, now making $1,500. So we're all making 18K for the day, still holding 37 contracts of uh, Amazon. Got the limit order sitting there to sell them at 25 bucks. Still miles away to get there, but looks like at least we're going the right direction right here. Still got uh, almost uh, five hours till the close of the session, so a lot of things could happen here. Let's see if we can actually squeeze an extra trade out of this momentum today. We can maybe cash out at 25 and get into another trade. That would be ideal. I think we're going to get that opportunity today, so let's go. Amazon. Let's do this. All right, guys, 11.05 a.m. Now making 43K on the Amazon trade. The account is up today, 56K. All right, guys, so making 50K on Amazon. At this point, the account is up um, 62,000 for the day. So we're going to sell just a little bit. We're going to sell only about 17 of these right now. 17 at market. All right, sold them at 20 bucks. All right, so we still got 20 uh, remaining here. All right, guys, uh, 2.18 p.m., and uh, looks like Amazon is making us about 70K today. 69,886. Uh, cashed out early at 12K on Tesla, but then lost 10.9. Uh, this position is still open. Um, and losing $7,900 on spy puts. Horrible entry. Not going to let it happen again today. So on Amazon making 72K. Um, so based with what we got right here, we're going to shot close above 100K. It's not out of reason. Uh, we just need Amazon to pull about uh, $17.33 and we're there. Now uh, with that particular station, okay, you should also expect some uh, improvement in these two positions. So it's becoming more reasonable to actually cash out above that low. As you can see, Amazon now is making 74K, 647. So you don't have to be perfect to do this, guys, but you do need to understand the 13 markets move formula, the sequences, what gives you the confidence to stay with the positions, what gives you the confidence to stay out of the positions. Uh, I mean, as you can see, the account is up 800% today. And you've seen me do it too many damn times over the last few years. It is now your time to learn how to do this. So click the link below. Don't let trades like this get away from you. Learn how to nail them. And 13 Market Smooth Formula will help you do that. Amazon today officially at 82, 280 profit for uh, the day. Now remember, I did liquidate 17, 17 contracts earlier, capped to 20. And uh, when the market bounced, didn't blink, understanding that's a move too. So you may not be able to nail every single entry, but if you understand what move it is, it's going to give you the confidence to stay with the position. Understanding what move it is within the sequence is going to help you roll the balls of steel to where you can stay strong and finish your trade through, opposed to jumping out early. So with that said, not at that point yet, make sure you click the link below and get additional information. Account officially right now is at 95 day for the day. We started yesterday with three grand. Alright guys, so the key takeaways, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. And clearly the video demonstrates you don't have to nail every entry perfectly in order to trade like a rock star and create some substantial returns for yourself and your families and your loved ones out there. So all you have to do is know exactly which move it is and how to trade it. And if you don't know what to do, then you need to get this information right now by simply clicking the link below or going to 13marketmoves.com. Let's roll. I'll catch you guys on the next trade soon.
Oh, I'm such a shit! <laughs>